you know, who are these shadowy people that put ads on the on the unemployment site? Decide to take Joe Ann Chandler's property. What's going on? Well, Do I we think... have a call? We have a call. And you are on the air on the Daisy Deadhead Show. Daisy is me. Is it really? Me, Wes. I hear you. Listen, have you not figured out yet that if you want big government that can tell insurance companies to buy your birth control, Speak up. that you get big government government that can steal your property, that you get big shadow figures like czars from Obama, that you get big shadow governments from GPAT, that they can steal your land. You can't be a big... Okay, what's that got to do with insurance? Huh? What does that have to do with insurance? It's all related. You don't... Okay, get explain how it's related. Other, Daisy. Explain how it's related. You don't rose without the thorn. Expl well, explain. How is that? Explain. You, you vote for big government. No, it's explain gross. about the insurance. You said medical insurance. Now, yeah, I know this is yeah. a bugaboo. You get on you my blog and you talk about medical insurance if and you, you go on about that. But what I want to know is... ...mandate insurance companies buy your birth control... You've got a government big enough to steal your property due to eminent domain. Okay, what about you Social Security? Are you opposed to that, too? Big enough, big enough that organizations like... Are you opposed to Social Security? That's what I want to know. Why is it different when it's Social Security? Well, you know what? Okay, do away with that, too, then. Oh, so you just want to starve old people in quadriplegics. Well, I see. you know what? Sometimes you just draw the short end of the stick. I guess you're not a Christian. I thought you were, Wes. You really surprised yeah. me because yeah. you want to starve people because Jesus said the poor we always have with us. That's right. But, and he said that you should but, feed the poor. But governments can't be compassionate, Daisy. Don't oh. believe it. I'm saying you can do no, what I'm compassionate. you want. And I want, and I want the government to do right by us. You've got a government big enough. That it can mandate insurance companies buy your birth control. You've got one that can steal your property. But they're already mandating Social Security and paying for old people's medical care, and you apparently you don't want that for yourself when you get older, so you want to just die? Daisy, I, you know what? It's a fact. I'm going to die anyway. But you want to die when you're 65? You can't. You can't get up here fussing about... But see, my medical insurance cuts me off at 65. I have to go on Medicaid. Okay, now I have a chronic condition called thyroid disease. If I don't get that, I will die. So you're condemning me to death then. I really don't need to talk to somebody that's just condemned me to death, Wes. Yeah, you know, you can twist it any way you no, want. No, I'm not twisting it. Those are facts. Those are facts that the re the medical insurance is going to be cut off for me by 65. That's everybody now. They have been planning on Obamacare now, and they are the medical company, the medical insurance companies are cutting people off now, and that's because they don't want responsibility. Well, one, it's because they're unsure of what's actually going to happen under Obamacare. But no, they don't want responsibility. Prior to 1965. When the Great Society come into effect, did people die? They were dying in Vietnam. Hello. No, I think. <laughs> were, they, were they dying for lack of health care? And I would say absolutely. Well, of course. Yes, they were yeah. dying for lack okay. of health care. And, and you know what? Some people live. Sure. You, just, you, you know what? You can twist it any way you want. I'm not I'm twisting it. I'm telling you the facts. I'm telling you the facts that my, if I don't get medicine after 65, I will die. And you're saying that's okay. And I'm sorry. Screw you, dude. I'm, I have a right to live, too. And you, don't, you are no better than me because you, you don't have a disability or chronic condition. You are not superior to me. I have just as much right to be here as you do. I paid into that my whole life. My husband has. My parents have. I have just as much right to be here as you do. Yeah, I'm real sorry. But listen to me. <laughs> then don't fuss. Don't fuss about it. g patch comes about because you have big government and big... No, how come, how come we don't have g patch in Ohio where I'm from? That's not true. Big government does not mean shadowy government. Some governments are accountable. Sixth most corrupt state in the Union, West. That means five other states. Big government. Czars. It's on a federal level, too. Okay, can you explain to me then why these other states did not get to be most corrupt and, and this state, this most conservative state, Georgia and South Carolina, are on that list of corruption? Yeah, and there's a couple of red, uh, blue states up there too. I Which one? But listen, <laughs> you, 
You're right, but how they're the six most corrupt states. But look, how close behind this is the 31st? I doubt it's very far behind us. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you're upsetting me, Wes, so I'm going to have to cut you off right now, okay? Because <laughs> I cannot argue about whether I live or die. You know, I think anybody yeah. that wants to argue with me about that, they don't understand. I'm going to take a pretty hard line on that. And if you think that people who are disabled and old need to be put down like dogs, you're not a Christian. In fact, you're, you're pretty much of a mass murderer. So I really don't want to talk to a mass murderer, okay? They steal property. They steal property. They're one of you're, are you just talking and not listening to me? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, bye, because I really, bye. if you're not going to listen, bye. See That's you later, okay. man. <laughs> Can you believe these people? They call themselves Christians, but they believe in mass murder, okay? If you believe in mass murder, you are not a Christian. You are a fake Christian. In fact, you're, you're a crusader Christian, so maybe you are a Christian. I keep forgetting who I'm talking to here. Well, there's a... There's Happy certain... Easter, everybody. <laughs> there certainly is a long history for every faith of people who, you know, feel that it's important for them to go out and and slaughter people who don't believe the same things they do uh -huh. and and i understand i do i understand west point that if a government is powerful enough to provide for you it's it's powerful enough to to destroy you guess what our government is already powerful enough to destroy us and they do it on a regular damn basis so why is it wrong for us to ask them to take care of us once in a while when we put out the money we put out the effort we put out the work and they sit up there on their gold thrones and throw us crumbs and we're supposed to be happy about it well screw that crap all right greg greg's mad i am mad i think it's crap i think it's absolute garbage and i think it's ridiculous that we tolerate this kind of stuff from our government from our elected officials you want to know why we're number six on that list i'll tell you why we're number six on that list same as the reason the people in, uh, above us are on that list is because they live in a one in a one-party state yes in south carolina if you're a republican you can do no wrong until you get found and convicted of criminal behavior yes and 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 it's the same way with the democratic party in massachusetts it's the same way with, south dakota with the, was on the list exactly south dakota. right yes it doesn't matter you want to know why ohio's not high up on that list because ohio is a state like north carolina where there are two political parties that have influence that's right and the and in the state of south carolina only the republican party has influence and everyone with money has only one party to bribe that's and they right. do it every season yeah, and you know what else? People like West, you know, they fall off their motorcycle without their helmet on, and they're right there at the emergency room with the rest of us. Sure, of you course. know, if, if he is found unconscious on the road, what does he think? They're going to lay, oh, this is a conservative who doesn't believe in government. We're going to leave him lie here. I think they're going to call an ambulance. You're welcome, Wes, that other people are going to take care of you because you're too dumb to take care of yourself, and you're going to lay there. Does, does he really think that he does? He really want that for himself to be not taken know. to the emergency room? See, he wants to be taken care of when he wants to be taken care of. But then he wants to point at other people like me and say, oh, you don't need thyroid hormone the rest of your life. I wish I didn't, but I do. And if I don't have insurance, which is going to be cut off, as I said, at 65, I don't know what else to do. He's condemning me and people like me to death. All the diabetics, all the people who need medication. Un unless you have money to pay for it on your own. Oh, of course, of course. And yes, you know, I do pay for a lot of it on my own already. Sure. Yeah, sure. you know. And I know people who go without thyroid medicine for periods of time, and that is really dangerous. Somebody could have an industrial accident. You know, somebody could be a little addled brain, because that's what it does to you if you go without your thyroid medicine for too long. It's called myxedema. Look it up, M-Y-X-E-D-E-M-A. Yes, I did used to do medical transcription, Greg, and I do know <laughs> how to spell it. And that's called myxedema, and it will make you crazy. My grandmother... Uh, developed myxedema at one point and yes this runs in my family and you know why Wes let's get back to something else now that you brought it up you know why I have thyroid disease one theory why and my grandmother and my mother well partly genetic but it's also something called the Great Lakes I am from the Great Lakes region there is astronomically higher thyroid disease near the Great Lakes region. That has to do with something called radioactive iodine that was poured into the atmosphere before 1975 and before there were laws against it. You can thank environmentalists like Scoop Jackson for passing laws. Otherwise, there would be a whole new generation of kids with thyroid disease. And so we don't have as much now. It's going down. One out of seven women over 40 have thyroid disease in this Holy country. Smoke. And even in Japan, where they dropped a bomb, two bombs on those people. People. They don't have the levels of thyroid disease that we have in the Great Lakes region. Somebody on the air. You're on yeah, the air. Typical, typical uh, Daisy. Oh, he's still just talking. Twist, he's still talking to me. Listen, just twist everything in the 
dumb. I can't hear you. What? Tell you what. Tell you what. Hold on. West, 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 west. Hold on. This is Greg. Speak up. Yeah, Greg. We, we got seven minutes to the end of the show. We got hey, other Greg, stuff. We, think, hold on. West. I think you got my west, point, Greg. West, I did. I did. West, let me, let me do this. All right. We got seven minutes at the most to the end of the show. I'm going to give you one minute, then we're going to cut you off, okay? So okay. Daisy's not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. We're going to give you one minute, then we're going to cut you off. You ready? Yes. My, my point is that we just can't argue about government that steal people's property while that same government um, mandates that insurance companies provide our health care. It's really one and the same. Now, yes, government does have a purpose. I don't mind that. As a Christian, I'm told to take care of other Christians. Paul said, come out from that believers. But conservatives give a whole lot more to charity than liberals do. Now, and, but my point is, we just can't fuss about big government because it's all one and the same. Our unfunded tra uh, mandates are like 65 trillion. Some would say 90 trillion. Our government is broke. We don't have any money. You're right. South Carolina's government's corrupt because it's a one-party system. You're right. I agree with all of that. But in closing, any government big enough to give you want is big enough to take what you have. Thank you, West. Thank you. Okay. My point is they're providing it now. And, you know, nobody seems to care about the, un the unfunded mandate when it's Social Security or when it's an emergency room or when you fall off your motorcycle with no helmet on because you didn't believe in a helmet law and then you fell off and you have brain damage. Who's going to do all that rehab? I think you expect it. I think you want it. I think you take it for granted, like most Americans, that there is an EMS. There is a 911. Call 911. Uh, who do you think pays for 911? Who do you think pays for that, Wes? We do. Well, and not just West. I mean, anyone who's listening who, who who shares those thoughts. Yes. Now, before we leave, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give as much of this time over to Daisy as I can because after all, it's not the Greg Show. It's the <laughs> Goodhead Show. Yeah, but doesn't he do wonder? Especially when he gets himself all fired up. He's so fantastic. <laughs> if if you hear what we're saying and you think that what we're saying is important to hear on the radio, I mean, just an hour a week. That's that's all we're doing right now. An hour a week. If you think it's important, if you think it's valuable, and you want to support what we're doing, go to daisydeadhead.com, search out the panhandling section, and throw five <laughs> bucks into the woman's pocket. She's unemployed. She's doing a great job. She's giving you information that you're not finding anywhere else, and that's the appropriate thing to do.